位同学，大家好，我是国立金门大学国际长严玉芳，欢迎各位同学再次回到我们印尼文的教学课程。今天我们要学的是有关于季节以及时间的用法，比方说现在是几月。今天是星期几的用法？希望各位同学跟着我们一起来学习。大家好 ，Hello semuanya, Hello everyone, Welcome back with me. 我是 Lisa T. I am Lia Asuti. And then welcome back to learn Indian or Bahasa. So today's agenda, we will learn about cuaca or waktu. Cuaca is weather or tianqi, and then waktu or time or shijin. Part one, I will focus for. Learning cuaca or weather or tianqi. Okay, no, like usual when you learn with me, no, you will learn how to spell it. Okay, cu a. Cuaca. One more. Cu. A. Cha. Cuaca. Okay, you did it. The next one. Before I will talk about next slide, we will learn about cuaca. Of course, if we talk about cuaca. Or weather, or tianqi. We will learn about how about season. Season is what? Season is tian. No, season in Bahasa is mu sim. Mu sim. You can repeat after me. Mu sim. Mu sim. What else? Mu sim. Mu sim. Yeah, you did it. So now we will focus for learning for mu sim. The first one. Is musim semi or spring season or cuntian? No. How to spell musim semi? How to spell spring season in Yinyuan in Bahasa? You can follow me. Se, mi, se, mi, musim, se, mi, musim, se, mi, musim, se, mi. Yay! You did it. Do you like spring season, or do you like musim, se, mi? Yes, if you like, we are same. So the next one is musim panas. Musim panas ya semua. Musim panas ya xia tian or summer season. Summer season in bahasa is musim panas. Okay, so if you come to Indonesia, and then. You will hear about, for example, saya mau beli minuman. You have learned about minuman, right? In noun, video. And then 
you can say minuman panas or makanan panas. So, panas in Indonesia means general. What does it mean? In Indonesia, panas can apply for almost all of the things. So, musim panas. It means that the season is hot. Okay, do you got what I mean? Okay, now you will learn about how to spell it. You can follow me. Pa. Nas. Panas. Musim. Pa. Nas. Panas. Musim panas. Yay! You did it! The next one is musim gugur. Or fall season. Or Chuten. No. We will learn how to spell gu, gur, gugur, musim, gu, gur, musim gugur. One more. Musim, gu. Gur. Musim gugur. Yay! You did it! The next one is musim dingin. What is musim dingin? Musim dingin is winter season. Hai shi. Tong tian. So, now, like the musim panas, musim dingin also, dingin. The dingin itself can put into general things. Like for example, minuman dingin. Or makanan dingin. So, not always in the season. We can apply dingin in dongshi or in the things. For example, in minuman and makanan. Do you get it? Yes! Good job! So, now we can follow me. You can follow me. Musim di ngin. Musim di ngin. Di ngin. Musim di ngin. Yay! You did it! So, we will know that the season have four seasons. The first one is musim. What? Yes, musim semi. Next one is what? Musim. Yes, musim panas. Third one is musim. Yes, musim gugur. The fourth one is musim. Yeah, musim dingin. Exactly, good job. But now I would like to inform you that in Indonesia, we just have two musim. We just have two musim, which is the first one is... Musim panas dan musim hujan. Oke, okay. musim panas dan musim hujan. Musim hujan sesama, musim hujan se, syayu tian. Oke, okay. so in Indonesia we just have two musim. What is? First one, yes, the first one is musim panas. Next one is, ya, yeah, musim hujan. Oke, okay, good job. The next one, 
after Tianqi, we will go to part two. Yeah! What is part two? The part two, we will learn about waktu. Waktu shi shima, waktu shi shi jian. Okay, waktu is time. Okay, you can follow me. Wak tu. Wak tu. Wak tu. Wak tu. Yay! You did it. So, if you ask me, what is wak tu? Wak tu it will contains of the tahun. Or years and etc. Now the next one is tahun. What is tahun? Tahun is year. Tahun si shema, tahun si nian. So this one is tahun. Ta. Hun, ta hun. You can follow me. Ta hun, ta hun. Yeah, you did it. Ta hun. So in this picture, we can see at twenty twenty or year of twenty twenty. Or year of 2021. Welcome 2021 because now is January. So the next one is what? Bulan. Okay. Or month. Hai shi yue. You can follow me. Bu. Lan. Bulan, bulan, bulan. Okay. Now, how many bulan that we have? Yes, twelve or sheer. So that's why in Chinese we can say bulan or month. In Chinese, we have e er san until she er because bulan in Chinese using the number, right? So now we will learn how bulan in Indonesia. After bulan is about tanggal. Tanggal si shema, tanggal si date, or how, or re. For example, in Chinese, i re, hai shi i hao, or in English, date one. It's same like in Indonesia, tanggal satu. Satu is one. Satu she i. Okay, you can learn. We will learn about the number letter. Okay. Now we will learn about tanggal. Ta. Gal. Tang. Gal. Tanggal. One more. Tang. Go. Tang go. You can follow me. One more. Tang. Go. Tang go. Yay! You did it. So after tahun, after bulan. After 
tanggal. You can guess the next one. What is that? Yes, the next one is week. Or minggu. Or sinci. For example, sinci ji. The range of the weeks. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, it's called Minggu. You can follow me. Minggu. Minggu. One more. Ming. Go. Minggu. Okay, I will listen to you. What is that? Yes, Minggu. Yay! So, I will guide you to learn hari. Do you see? Hari or day or Sinciji. Senin, Selasa, Rabu, Kamis, Jumat, Sabtu, Minggu itulah hari-hariku. So, hari in English is day. Hari sesame, hari se sinci, ji. Okay, you can follow me. How to say hari? Ha. Ri. Ha ri. One more. Ha ri. Ha ri. Yeah, you did it. Okay. So, the next one after hari. So, we have learned about tahun, bulan, and then, yes, tanggal, and then, yes, minggu, after that, hari, and after that, we will learn how to read an hour, the watch, jam sesuma, jam sedian, jam is hour, you can see, in this picture is chi or seven, right? That seven itself, it's called jam. You can follow me. Jam. Yay, you did it. So, in this example, seems like jam tujuh. Tujuh she chi. Tuju is seven. Later, we will learn about the number. Okay? So, the next one, after jam, after that, we will learn about menit. It's quite similar, right? Menit se shema, menit se fun. Menit is minutes in English. So, you can follow me. M. Nit. M. Nit. Again. M. Nit. M. Nit. Yay! You did a great job. Han Pang. You are great. Okay? Next one. Let's focus. So, what does that mean? What is this? What is this? Yes, benar. Correct. Tue. This one is tahun or year. Okay, so 2021, 2020, okay? It's called tahun or even one one nine nine seven. That's called tahun. Okay. 
The next one is I want to teach you about tahun ini or this year or jinian tahun lalu or last year or junian tahun depan or next year or mingnian so tahun ini tahun i ni tahun ini Okay, tahun ini sure this year or jinian jinian sesama in ini one sure yes tahun ini okay so the next one is tahun lalu or last year or jinian okay tahun La lu tahun lalu oke okay. ta hun la lu tahun lalu oke okay, so if today is 2021 or early r e or 2021 or 2021 so tahun lalu is 2020 oke okay? so if this year is 2021 or arling or e or 2021 so tahun lalu is 2020 or Erling Erling or 2020 okay we have talk about tahun lalu so tahun depan tahun depan she minion tahun de depan is next year Erling or er, er, or 2022 tahun the pan follow me tahun the pan yay you did it good job next one after tahun is what yes bulan bulan si semua bulan si yue or month Oke, okay. next one. In Indonesia, we have really, really, really same. Almost the same with the English version. Oke, okay. you can see the first one is Januari. Or, if we pronounce in English, it's all become Januari. In Indonesia, it's all become Januari. Oke. Okay. Januari in Indonesia is Januari. You can differentiate it. Januari. Januari. It's English. Januari is Indonesia. Okay. Iwe in Jangwen. Okay. You can follow me. Ja. Nu wa ri Januari. Yay, you did it. The next one is Februari or February. In English, you can see it just have differences between the last one between y and i, right? Februari and Februari. You can see the differences. Pronunciation by English is all become Februari, right? For Indonesia, it's become Februari. Okay? 
So, how about in Jongwen? February, she are you at? Yeah, Han Pang, you can do it. Now you can follow me. How to pronounce February? Okay, Feb, Bru, Wa, Ri. February. Okay. The next one is March. You can see it is still similar, even it is different. Okay, March. March is March is Maret. Maret or San Yue. You can follow me. Ma. Rat. Ma. Rat. Ma. Rat. Marat. Yay! You did it! Han Pang, a great job! Okay. Next one is April. That is in England, right? How to pronounce in Indonesia? April. So you can see that in English, April. In Indonesia, become April. In Jungwon, is Seyue. So now you can follow me how to pronounce April in Yinyuan in Bahasa. Up, April, April, A, April, April. Yay! You did it! A great job. Okay, Han Pang, you are so great. Okay, you have to remember that in Indonesia we have differentiation between English, be become a. E U E O. So April, April, not April. Okay, because it will implement for next month. Okay, next one is May. Okay, May is what? May is five or May, right? In English. You can hear clearly how I say May in English. May. In Indonesia, it's become May. 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 Okay? How to say it? May. May. In English, May. Okay? If I say to you, which one is Indonesia? Okay? Now I will say, first one is May. Second one is May. Which one? Yes, a great job! The second one is the true one. Yay! So, May, okay. Next one is June or Leo Yue. In Indonesia, it is have similarity, right? It's become Juni. Okay, so you can listen, differentiate it. June. Indonesia is Juni. Okay. Do you still remember that E, E, in Indonesia, we just added, right, become Juni. Okay, now you will learn how to pronounce Juni. Ju, Ni, Juni. Next one, Ju. Ni, Juni. Okay, you did a great job. Juni and June. Okay, you have to differentiate it because it is very, really important that in Indonesia we observe. 
we just have differentiation a little bit with the English about the bulan or month name or nama bulan. Okay, the next one is July or Chiyue. In Bahasa, it's called Juli. Ju Li. Juli. How about in Yingwen? July. Yingwen, she. Juli. Ju Li. Ju Li. Yay! You did it! Julie, okay. The next one is August. Have differentiation, just a little bit, but it's almost the same, right? So, how to spell August in Indonesia or how to spell August in Bahasa? A. Gus. Tus. Augustus. Okay, or Payue. A. Gus. Tus. Augustus. August. You can see the differences. In one, August. In new one, Augustus. Okay, you did a great job. Yay! The next one is September. See, there is really, really same. The word is same. You can see it. So no, I want to tell you the difference of pronunciation. Even how to write is same. Okay. Now, I will say September shir jiao yue. How? Which one you can guess first? Which one is yin yuan and which one is ying yuan? Okay, next one. September. September. Which one is yin yuan? Oh, yes. That is the first one. September. September. Right? So, how to spell it? You can follow me. Sep. Tem. Ber. September. You can follow me once again. Sep. Tem. Ber. September. Okay? Ingwen. September. Yiniwen. In Bahasa. September. Good job! The next one is October. You can see how to spell in Ingwen is October, right? How to spell in Chongwen is Shi Yue. Okay, October. October. How about in Ingwen? October, right? Once more. Ok. To. Ber. October. Yay! You did it again. The next one is November. Can you guess how to spell November in Bahasa or Shi Iyue? Okay. Now I will help you. November. November. Which one? Of course, the first one. No. Fem. Ber. November. Yin wen she November. Yin wen she November. Chong wen is she yue. Okay, you can see the differences of pronunciation. November. Ying Wen. November. Is. Yes. Bahasa. 
Okay, now we will see the last one. You can see December. Yay! Last one. You can see it just have differences between S and C, right? December or year or year. In England, December. Bahasa is December. December. Okay, you can see the differences. De, sem, ber, or in England, December. Okay, now you can listen carefully. Which one is England? December. December. Yes, correct. The second one. So in Bahasa, de, sem, ber. Okay. Next one is we will learn about the date, the tanggal, minggu, hari, jam, dan what is that? Yes, menit. Okay, so before that, let's review. What is this? Yes. This is tanggal. Okay? What is this? Yes! Did it, you did it again. Okay, this one is minggu or week. What is this? Yes, this one is hari. Okay? In last time that I told you about hari. Okay. After that, we will learn how to sing and how to remember hari in Indonesia. Okay? So, after hari, you can guess and review what is this. Yes, exactly. This is jam or hour or dian. The next one is what is this? Yay! Great job! This one is minute or minutes or fun. So, you are really, really expert, right? About the waktu or the shijian. And then, we have also learned about cuaca. Cuaca is... Yes, cuaca is weather or tianqi. So, the next one, in the next meeting and the next video, we will learn about what? After tahun and then after that bulan. Next one is, yes, tanggal. Next one is, Yes, Minggu. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, which is? Yes, Hari. And then Jam. And then after that, about Menit. Okay, stay tuned. And don't forget to watch me for make your new one more fluent. Okay? Terima kasih dan sampai jumpa. Thank you and see you later. Don't forget to watch another video, okay? And then see you later. Bye-bye.